Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Good to go. Here go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Savage Saturdays. I'm your host. Again, it's me, Derek. I'm Derek Wyda. Happy to have you back. Welcome to episode two of Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. It's, um, you know, I'm already, I'm not like, I'm sober. These shows, they come out on Saturdays, but we record them whenever we can. Today actually happens to be a Thursday, and I'm in a training cycle. It's what? 11.53 in the morning. Dude, I want to fucking have a beer so bad. I don't do this kind of shit sober, you know, but I, I, have, I have my training in the morning. I got squats in the morning. Um, so here I am drinking a, uh, my smoothie. It's a fruit smoothie because I'm a fucking fruit. Um, can I say that? That's not. I don't give a fuck. It's Savage Saturday. Yeah. Mm. So I'm drinking a smoothie, drinking water, going to have some uh, tobacco here soon. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever done a podcast sober. You can't. How do you just sit there and fucking talk forever? Just, I don't know how people do it. Um, but anyways, uh, today, today's on today's show, we're taking, it's a dangerous move. We're taking questions from the internet. I, I, I asked Instagram, I said, Hey, we're talking about fitness. What, what do you want to know? What are your questions? How can I help you? It's something I do from time to time. Uh on Instagram there and uh, it's a uh, you know there's it's you know I, I understand that people um, fitness can be fit fitness is confusing to a lot of people but the funny thing is like fitness is so fucking simple we're literally talking about living somewhat healthy relatively well but um, fitness gets overwhelming for people because there's so many people out there with differing opinions and shitty opinions and shitty advice. There's a lot of fucking shitty advice out there. Holy fuck. There's some, th there's some things that I see in fitness pages and fitness groups. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, and actually like I'm friends with some people who give out shitty advice. <laughs> Uh, you know, but I stay friends with some, like there's some, there's, there's some accounts I have muted on Instagram because I like these people in person, but holy fuck, do we disagree? You know? Mm. <clears throat> Anyways, that's what we're doing today. Questions and answers live from the internet. I haven't looked over any of these. Um, and then, uh, so that, that, that's what we got going on today. And then uh, actually, so next week, hopefully, I think we're going to have our first guest. It's going to be my wife, Stacy. Uh, you want to, and you know, like when it comes to do like, when it comes to talking about fitness and fitness people, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty savage. Stacy is fucking ruthless. Like she's funny. Like so, it's gonna be. We'll actually have to be like, all right, Stacy. Remember, we're like, we're talking shit, but we're also being nice, you know? Because she'll just be like, fuck that fucking person. Fuck, you know? It's it's funny. So that'll be fun and dangerous. But maybe danger is the you know <laughs> like danger is just what we do. But uh, uh, we'll have her next week, and that'll be fun. And then um. You know, we were talking moving forward and maybe just like kind of stay. Oh, hold on. What is it? They're getting close. They're getting dangerous. Like, and dude, oh my God, man, they fucking smell. I fucking, <laughs> dude, I was like, God. So now I'm just over here sitting in, I'm just, I'm crabby. My pants, my shorts are too tight. I'm sitting in a fart. Owen made me take my jacket off because he said it's loud. I have a shirt on that's definitely too tight. But I like it, you know. It's funny. For a long time, I was just wearing large shirts, and I recently started wearing medium shirts again. It's it's tough being my size getting shirts because I'm thick, but I'm also five foot six, and so larges are super long. I don't like that, so I wear mediums. And so like I wore larges to the gym for like a year and a half, and I just started all I all I started doing was wearing medium shirts again. And people are like, "Oh, dude, you're looking big. You're putting on the you know you've been putting on size. It's like actually, I've been losing weight." It's just a tighter shirt, you know, <laughs> like, you know, and I, I feel bad for my friends who don't understand that. They just sort of, you know, like when it comes to gym apparel, I'm not like, I don't, I don't have all the nicest clothes and think, well, I have Nike stuff. It's nice clothes, but I don't put much thought into what I fucking look like at the gym. It's all about practical stuff, but there's a little bit about how do I look, Be not for other people, but for me, like when you go to the gym, you don't want to look it's just kind of motivating when you see fucking, you know, your muscles and stuff like that. And I have friends who just sort of lax lackadaisically show up in shorts and a t-shirt that's too big. I'm like, man, 
how do you how do you how do you feel good about yourself in that like what is this you know like or you could definitely feel so much better about yourself in a shirt you know so if i if i have shirts i have i get them in larges and mediums and i fucking i the mediums i wear to the gym and larges i wear in life you know and like i got this new system cuz i for the longest time i couldn't tell which one was which and so i just would stop wearing a shirt cuz you tear the tags off and if 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 it's if the size is just on a tag you fucking, you don't know which one's which, you know? So I started cutting holes in my mediums. And so now, yeah, so now on, on all my mediums, I got a hole in the back, you know? My mother-in-law thinks I'm fucking stupid. I think it's a genius fucking move. So I just like look through my closet, I'm like, is this the medium? Fucking stick my finger through the hole? That's a medium, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. That's a good smoothie. I look forward to this every day. I bet somebody, I bet some, I bet somewhere today somebody's going to say like, how do you fucking, what does your day of eating look like or something like that? And maybe I'll get to share my smoothie, but we're going to get into it guys. We're going to get into questions from the internet about fitness. I already know what the questions are going to be. They're always, they're always kind of the same. And so these are like general questions. Um, well actually like, here we go. Can I come work out with you? No. Well, I mean, like, yes, here's a question. Can I come work out with you? No, but uh, yes, anytime. You, like, uh, any, any, like uh, you know, people come to town, they want to work out and stuff like that. And um, I'm always down to have people join me in training, but you're fucking on my schedule. I don't, you know, like, I, people don't understand that I do this. I care. I care, you know, and I have, I'm a slave to routines, you know, and it's like, dude, I wake up. And I like 30 minutes, I got a 30 minute window to get my shit ready and get out the door. And then I need to be at the gym in 15 minutes because that's when I have to poop. You know, it's a fucking system. It's like I, if, I, if I'm working out at 8 o'clock in the morning, I wake up at 7. I'm out the door at 7.30. I drink my pre-workout. I throw in a fucking fat ass pinch of Copenhagen. And I'm pooping by 7.45. I'm upstairs, eight fi- or 7.55. Ready to go. So yes, if you're ever visiting Vegas, you you always more than welcome to come work out with me. On my schedule, don't fucking it's a it's not a personal training session. That's another thing. People are like, hey, can I come work out with you? Like, fuck yeah. Like, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? I'm like, what? I was like, okay, 120 bucks, you know, 120 bucks an hour. I'm just kidding. I'm 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 nice. It's like I, I never tell people they can't come work out with me. It's just, you know. It's Savage Saturdays. I'm just speaking my mind here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, here's here's a question. Uh, when working out at the bro gym, do you take breaks between sets or just nonstop until the session is done? So that's a common question. You know, people are, are, are you know, getting our training programs and stuff like that. And I don't write specific rest. Um, and so people, you know. On the one hand, that's an overthinking thing. Like people, you know, so it, my answer to this, how, how, how long should you be resting between sets when you're working out? As much as you need. You know, there's, there's, there's different times. It's like when I'm doing, if you're doing something for strength, you probably want like between like two and five minutes of rest between sets. Like if you're doing heavy singles of something, that's what's cool about powerlifting. Dude, powerlifting taught me how to just sit the fuck down. And it's a weird thing because you sort of lose that sweat, you lose your pump, and you just have to fucking go in raw. And just going in raw, sometimes it's fun. But like, you know, like, yeah, actually, uh, going in raw is always fun. I was thinking, I was confused with going in dry. But actually, I guess that applies, because, yeah. Totally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so it's like, if you're doing, if you're doing like a classic training, something, and you're just, you're just focused on strength at the time, Take, take, take good rest. Take as much rest as you need to be able to hit that top set. Don't take too much rest where you're just like not even warmed up anymore. But then when you're in accessory work and stuff like that, it's pretty short rest. If you're, if you're doing, you know, sets of 10 to 15 lateral raises with, you know, like 10 to 25 pound dumbbells and it's just about getting the burn, then, then you're doing more, you know, you definitely want to keep that rest to like a minute or less, you know? And I don't like fucking idle time at the gym. That's one like, um... When I'm lifting, when I'm doing like the wide away at LVAC, I like to have my music in and we'll talk and stuff a little bit. But it's like, if I lift with a partner, it's like, I go, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go. And sometimes if my partner is like talking when he's supposed to be lifting, I'm just like, man, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Or if you're lifting with three people, it's always a thing. You know, you just have to learn how to not get a good workout that day. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So... (laughs) 
yeah, so here's, here's, here's a question right here. I knew, I knew it was going to get asked. Um, what's a day of meals look like for you? People like, so, you know, um, one thing, okay, my, I'll, I'll run you guys through like my fucking eating and it's the same every day. And it's not because I like it's, 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 I eat what I eat because I've learned that's what I need to eat to perform and feel good. All right, like I have figured me out. It is not a diet that I pitch to other people because the only diet that works is the one you fucking create for yourself, like for real, you know? And it took me a long ass time to figure my shit out. Probably like, I've been probably working out for 10, 11, 12 years or so. I've only figured my shit out in the last three years. And it's just like my, my, my performance has skyrocketed and I still look relatively okay. You know, so I'll, I'll just, I'll just run you through my typical day. All right. So like I'm up in the morning, I'm working out at eight, eight o'clock. I don't eat before I train. I don't, I fucking hate eating with food in my stomach. And so I'm working out at eight in the morning on an empty stomach. I have pre-workout and shit like that. And then I'm usually training until about 10 o'clock and then I have a post-workout shake, which happens to be right motherfucking here. Um, it's, 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 uh, first forms formula one protein with the first form ignition. All right. This is just fast digesting protein. This is fucking sugar. It's fucking, but it, I mean, maybe we'll talk about it more sometime, but I take my post-workout stack. Um, and it gets me like the sugar is carbs, protein, I'm back online. So I just have that. And then I come home and at about 11 o'clock in the morning, I have my smoothie and my smoothie is one and a half cups of milk, a banana, frozen strawberries, and two more scoops of fucking formula one. I like the CTC flavor. Um, in a normal day, I have like 10 scoops of protein, which makes it nice that I'm a sponsored athlete. I can do that, but I'm not going to apologize for that. I, um, I earned it, you know? So I have my smoothie in between training sessions because I'm right back in the gym at 1230 every day. And so I train from about 1230 to 2, 2, 30 in the afternoon. I have another fucking post-workout shake. And then I come home and I finally start eating. I, I, so I probably don't eat my first meal till about four o'clock. And typically like it's a skillet. And so there's those fucking bags of Simply Potatoes. I fucking love those things. It's just fucking hash browns. Um, but the brand is Simply Potatoes. They're fucking delicious. So I have a whole bag of those in one meal. My, my skillet is a whole bag of fucking Simply Potatoes hash browns. It's, I always eat steak. And I don't know how to, I, I would say it's like probably like 12 ounces of steak. Three eggs, a fuck ton of cheese, and hot sauce. So I have that meal at about 4, 4.30 and I added up the macros of that one time and it's like fucking 1800 calories and like 150 grams of carbs. It's, it's super over, like I, that's how I, I'm not a snacker or I could be a snacker, but I would be a fat fuck, you know? So it's like when I, 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 I keep myself alive, when I eat, I fucking eat to get full. And it's on good food, you know, and I've learned that. Like you eat, I used to do the fucking five to six meals a day, six ounces of fucking turkey at 11 in the morning and shit like that. The more I tried to do diets back in the day, the fucking worse I did, you know? And so I have my skillet and then like usually about nine, nine thirty at night or somewhere around nine or 10 o'clock at night, I have a big ass fucking meal again. And typically that is about a pound of uh, ground beef with another egg and cheese and hot sauce in a bowl. And then I'm back on my fucking yogurt granola kick. So I have a, um, uh, I have two cups of yogurt, not like full or, you know, the individual packs, whatever. But I, I eat this like Icelandic skier shit. Have you ever had that? It's fucking Icelandic yogurt. And so, yogurt? well, it's so in, in, in America to be classified as yogurt, you have to have one of two bacterias. And this doesn't have one of those bacteria, so it's yogurt, just not by America's definition, whatever the fuck that means. So they, they can't call it yogurt technically, but it's called skyr, S-K-Y-R. And it's like Icelandic yogurt shit. It's fucking delicious. That's it's high in protein too, it's right? super, yeah, so there's like per pack, there's like 15 grams of protein. And it's got less sugar than like Chobani and things like that. So I'm never too, you know, there's a lot of fucking sugars in a lot of yogurts. But I'm never too, I don't let myself get too concerned with that stuff because it's not a fucking candy bar. It's not a can of pop, you know? There's sugars in foods. And if you, it's, it's like when it's like, if you're eating fruit, like this smoothie, I, I wonder how much sugar is in this smoothie with the fro, with the banana and the, uh, 
uh, strawberries, you know, it would probably be like an alarming thing if you just saw it on a bag, like 40 grams of sugar. What the fuck? Oh, I can't have, but it's not a candy bar. Different sugars are processed differently and stuff like that. So, and then, dude, this is the dangerous thing I do. In, in my yogurt bowl, I put granola. And I really like that kind brand, the okay. peanut butter one, or I like the bare naked one. But um, me and granola, man, I, like, I eat that whole motherfucking bag. I basically eat that whole bag. And the dangerous thing is, is the morning. Trying to make it to the gym after a bag of granola before you go to bed. Sometimes I'm like waddling in the gym and people, and but that's where like having a fake leg is nice. When I have to shit so bad I'm walking funny, people just assume it's the fake leg thing. But I walk perfectly fine. It's just like when I have to fucking shit, I do the, I have to fucking poop waddle, you know? And like, it's sometimes like I'm walking in the gym and it's, you got, like sometimes you just gotta hold your breath. You know, you're like, and like, dude, it's so funny when you, like, when you're driving to the gym, you got to fucking shit yourself. Cause usually I like to, you know, I turn my car, uh, my seat warmer on, I turn the heater on, I got my music going. But when, like, when you have to poop, the music goes down, the heaters go off, the windows get open, you know, <laughs> like you need fresh air and wind in your face to not fucking poop yourself, you know? So I like granola. Um, and, it, and it's, it's, it's kind of, that's kind of my, my carb source for my morning workout. So, um, you know, that's what I eat. And I don't know, I don't know, I think I've added it up before. Like I get about 3,000, 3,500 calories a day. I get a shit ton of protein. It's like 350 grams or something like that. I think about that with carbs too, like 300, 300 grams of carbs easily. Like this ignition, I take two scoops of this a day. And I think in um, total carbs, yeah. So one scoop is 40, uh, so I get 86 grams of carbs from this fucking sugar supplement a day. And I don't have fucking, you know, I'm a big supplement guy and people are like, you know, oh my God, dude, I've been taking supplements since I was 17. And as early as I was like 20, 21, you know, you got all these people who don't know about supplements and they're like, you're going to fucking shut down your kidneys. You're going to fucking shut down your organs and your livers and stuff like that. And I'm now I'm looking, you know, 17 years later, I'm looking around at all these unhealthy fucks that used to tell me that I was doing bad things to myself. I'm like, why are you fat? All right. Like, why are you giving me advice? Like I've, I've been taking supplements since I was 17 and my labs are fucking great. And is, is something, I mean, something's going to kill me someday. If it's the, pro, I doubt it's going to be the fucking protein powder. I doubt it's going to be the pre-workout. It might be, you know, <clears throat> something dumb or, you know, <laughs> like the, it might be the fucking five to six cans of tobacco I chew a day, awesome. you know, maybe it could be the alcohol and even that. So like, you know, so we're talking about like what I eat, I only eat red meat and for no other reason than I fucking enjoy that. I used to eat a lot of chicken and turkey and things like that. I just don't fucking enjoy it anymore. I don't. And if like, so that's what I, I just told you what I eat. You didn't hear a single goddamn vegetable. I don't eat vegetables. Or I, bread. Yeah. Well, like, so bread is on my list of, and I, I, I don't eat bread. I don't consider, I, I consider it an inferior carb source. Like if like, so my carbs kind of stick to like granola, rice, pasta, hash browns, mm -hmm. things like that. And like, so is bread... So like it goes into the thing like people are like, why don't you eat bread? Is bread bad for you? No, bread's not a candy bar. But like for me, I eat for performance. You know, it's like what's going to give me the best bang for my buck, you know, and I just don't feel, you know, a lot of a lot of a big part of what I eat is the way it makes me feel. You know, if I, you know, like what I eat when I when I'm done eating, like I, I get a nice pump. Like I like I definitely feel full. And my stomach hurts a little bit because I eat such big meals, but I, I get a nice pump. I feel good. And it, and it gives me like when I'm done eating, I'm filled with confidence about the next day. Like, all right, like I got to fucking, you know, I got a heavy lift tomorrow or whatever I got to do. But I feel good about it because it's like, all right, I'm well fed. You had to change that up too when you started powerlifting. Yeah. So the, the oh my gosh. Yeah. So uh, what Owen was just talking about is uh, like about a or for about a year. A year and a half ago, while Stacey was pregnant, I, I did a powerlifting cycle, but I went like full fucking powerlifter. I gained 50 pounds. And the things I changed up there, that was kind of funny. So I started eating before my workouts. That was fucking painful for me. But I would have a smoothie. Um, what are you holding up your fingers like that for? I think we're good. The camera's going to switch over. All right. I think you keep rolling. Okay, we're good. Yeah. 
uh, you know, Owen's Owen, Owen, Owen sit behind the camera and we're, we don't like, we're new to this podcast stuff. And Owen's just sitting there like this, looking at his camera. I'm like, what is, what is, what does this mean? Are we good to go? Anyways, um, in, uh, in powerlift and I adopted what Brandon, um, Brandon's diet. That's a lot of, a lot of ramen noodles. So I was for my car, like I just upped my carbs back then. I was, dude, I was getting 450 grams of carbs a day. That's fucking painful. But I was growing and I was strong. And so when people ask me, they're like, how do I gain weight? I'm like, eat, motherfucker. And they're like, I already eat a lot. I was like, well, obviously not enough, okay? Because if you were eating enough to grow, you'd be fucking growing, okay? So, and they're like, I, I eat, but it hurts. I'm like, yeah, bitch, it fucking hurts. Like, if, but like, so that's the thing, like, with scarcity brings value. Why did everybody wants to be fucking big and muscular, you know? But it is hard as fuck to get big and muscular. Why? Because it hurts. The training hurts. The recovery hurts. The eating fucking hurts. You know, <laughs> like it hurts. Shut the fuck up and eat your goddamn food. You know, and 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 people are like, when they're trying to gain weight, they're like, oh, I just been up in my protein. It was like my my protein stays constant all the time. Whether I'm gaining weight or losing weight, I fuck with my carbs. I just eat more, more carbs. You know. Yeah, so that's that's what makes you fucking grow. And actually, I'm a I'm a clean eater, and by my definition, you know, I'm not like chicken and rice type motherfucker. But like everything I eat is good quality. That's what I make my money for. I buy good quality food, you know. Um, but uh, when I was when I was 50 pounds heavier and I was trying to maintain that weight, I couldn't eat whole good food anymore at night. I was just like, it, I I couldn't. I couldn't eat real food, so I started eating chocolate chip pancakes with Nutella. I would have six, but I needed like you know, and there there comes a point sometimes where you know Brandon would tell me, he says anything is better than nothing. Like if you're trying to just fucking grow and you don't care about your aesthetics, and maybe we'll do a rant on that sometimes, like you know um, prioritizing your goals. I was just trying to get big back then. I wasn't trying to look good. I was I bit I threw you know like I was living and I was like I'm gonna be fat. All right, that's just how it is. And so like, how do I maintain the size? Chocolate chip pancakes with Nutella, which are fucking delicious, by the way. Have you ever had chocolate chip pancake Nutella sandwiches? I don't eat a lot of Nutella. What, you don't like Nutella? No, we just never buy it. God. Yeah, she ate it when she was pregnant. Yeah, yeah. dude, fucking Nutella. Nutella is a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, so like right here, here's a question. Here's a question from Joe Leach 8 Hey man, I struggle to eat more than enough. You got any ideas? Eat fucking more. Eat fucking more, but find, find food you like. Don't try to fucking eat something you don't like. Cause so here's, here's the thing with, with diets and, and things like that. There's, you don't have to eat something you don't like to accomplish what you want to accomplish. There's, there's so many fucking food options out there. Like for me, a, a any fucking nutritionist worth their fucking, you know, whatever the word is, I don't know. Any good nutritionist would tell me I need to diversify my protein intake or something like that. But they can go fuck themselves. I don't enjoy that. You know, like happiness plays a huge fucking factor in fitness. If you're if you're doing something you don't enjoy, you are going to fail. You are 100% going to fail because you don't enjoy it. You know, and if you find something you fucking enjoy, you're, you're going to stick with it. You're going to accomplish cool shit. I've... You know, at this point, like I, 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 I perform at a high level. I'm very happy because I'm doing everything my way. Like I have figured, I've paid attention to me. I've figured me out. I'm doing everything my way. So nothing is ever a burden. It's never a sac. I, I don't sacrifice taste or pleasure or anything like that. I everything I do is 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 in line with my goals and that makes me feel good and I enjoy the food I eat. I enjoy I love what I do, okay? So, all these diets and stuff, that's the thing. Like I bet somebody is going to fucking ask me about keto or something like that here. If you're doing something you don't enjoy, stop right now cuz you're going to fail. Okay? There's a there's a there's a way we can figure things out to where you're 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 eating foods you enjoy, you're doing doing different kind or some kind of fitness that you enjoy. That's, that's a big thing with fitness and goals, you know, is, uh, you know, somebody, somebody, somebody's like, I just want to fucking, I want to look better naked. Okay, cool. But, you know, they do like CrossFit and they don't enjoy CrossFit. It's like, well, why don't you just go do strength training? Or they're on this diet and they fucking don't enjoy it. It's like, well, why don't, why don't you try this instead? Anyways, yeah. 
Here we go. This is what you get when you ask the internet for fucking questions. Cock workouts to make my penis stronger. You got a weak dick, a papa zero one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that oh, here's a good question. Here's a good question. How did you get in the right mindset for the competition floor, dude? So I I hear people like so, dude. Like the short answer. If you have a, if you would like to compete in something someday, and you should, you know, even if it's like a participation com competing, there's no better, like, there's no better training than competing. All right, whatever your fuck like, and there's so many things to compete in: CrossFit, powerlifting. I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I think fucking bodybuilding physique shows are fucking dumb. I fuck, I, they're dumb. They're dumb to me. I grew up reading like Flex Magazine and watching Pumping Iron and stuff like that. But as far as like a competition, if the competition is going up on stage and flexing at strangers, I don't, I'm not, I don't enjoy that. It's not, <laughs> but um, uh, no matter who you are, what you do, your first competition, you're just going to be fucking nervous as shit. <laughs> I'm a nervous pooper and I'm a seasoned competitor at this point. I still, I still, I still have the nervous poops. But I, I'm, I'm calm, you know, and that's like the, where, where I am in competition now. I, I'm able to, uh, you know, like I'm able to beat people because I'm calm and I'm calm because I learned the hard way what being anxious and nervous does to you. Like, especially like if you're like competing in CrossFit, the one thing you want is a lower you want, you want your heart rate to stay as low as possible. And what does fucking stress and anxiety do? shoots that shit through the roof, you know? So you're fucking redlined before they even say go because you're fucking nervous. You have to get those first competitions out of the way. You have to, you have to get experience in competing. So, um, to be a good competitor. So it's like, it's a, it's a fucking mistake. So many people make, they're like, I'm going to do a competition. And I'm like, cool. When are you doing it? They're like, when I'm ready. It's like, no, no sign up. You won't be ready until like your third or fourth competition. Okay. So just get the first few out of the way right now. So it's like the dude, what did he ask? How do you get in the right mindset for competition? Compete. You have to, you know, and like, so it's like, look at Matt Fraser uh, in the CrossFit games. Like he's just a fucking, you know, he's just a fucking winner now because he has, he, he, he has that competition experience. And now he's got what, four championships to back it up where it's just like, no, like, like, fuck you. I'm the baddest. Like, cause there's self-talk in your head when you're competing. And like for a long time, my self-talk was so negative. It's like, you suck, you suck. You're not good enough. You can't do this. But I was able to like fight through that and train and compete anyways. But now after winning a few things and doing well, my self-talk is like, I'm not an arrogant piece of shit, but when it comes time to competing, I'm out there. I'm like, I'm the fucking best. I'm the fucking baddest. I'm going to fucking win because I fucking work harder than you. I want it more than you. Things like that. And so that comes from getting experience in competition. And you like, cause I used to just, you know, you know, I used to, um, I made all the fucking mistakes. My first few competitions, they're such stupid mistakes, but there's literally no avoiding making the stupid mistakes. You just got to go do it. And so, and I think, um, I think everybody should compete in fitness somehow. Or like, it's like, do, do a Tough Mudder, do a Spartan race, do, do, do something. You know, when we're talking about goals, tangible goals are so much fucking better than I want to lose 50 pounds. Cause it's like losing 50 pounds is, is like, if you're, it's just not fun fixating on that shit, you know? And, and you just, you know, and, and weight fluctuates. And so I see people are like, Hey, I'm down eight pounds. I just gained two pounds. What the fuck? Why did I gain two pounds? It's like, cause body fl bodies fluctuate, like give or take five pounds, you know, <laughs> like they can. And, uh, and it's just, it's just a boring goal. It, it really is a boring fucking goal saying I want to lose weight. You know, it's a good goal or like you should want to be, in my opinion, you should want to be healthy and fit, but just saying, I want to lose 50 pounds. It's a boring goal. And like, and I'm being honest because people fail, people fail because they have a boring ass goal. You need the time you, hack yeah. Yeah. So like short, like, so it's like, that's the beautiful thing. Like sign up for a fucking tough mutter. And once you sign up, you fucking commit, you fucking commit. And so every day becomes Every, it, it gives you a motivation that you can't fabricate because now your training session is like, all right, if I don't do this and do it well, I won't be able to perform 
the way I need to perform come fucking race day, come competition day, things like that. I'm going to be made to look a fool of, you know, I don't want to look silly. I want to go out there and prove to myself that I fucking can do this, you know? So it's like, there's all sorts of local CrossFit competitions. If you do CrossFit, um, Sign up for a local competition. Do that shit, you know? There's powerlifting meets all over the place, Tough Mudders, 5Ks, half marathons, triathlons, things like that, tangible fucking goals. Like, you know, make a, like, f find something that's in six, like six months away. Sign up for something, sign up. It makes fitness so much more fun. Like purpose-driven fitness is so much more fun than just working out, clock, you know, checking a box. It's like, it's like a job. You know, if you're doing a job that you, if you're, if you have a job that you fucking enjoy, you're excited to go to work, but if you got a shit job and you're just clocking in, clocking out, you're not getting much out of it. You know, that's a miserable fucking life. And so I'm just like, if you want, if you need to lose 50 pounds, good, lose 50 pounds, but do it, have, have the weight loss be like a side effect of the actual goal you're going for. I'm telling you performance driven fitness uh, uh, you know, fitness with a purpose. It's so much better. You're so much more likely to succeed and have a good fucking time. Sign up for a competition or a race. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody asked, how do you break a bad habit with that? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, you do as best you can, you know, everybody has bad habits. You know, you got to pick your poison in this world because, um, people who, people who are just like good, are typically fucking boring and they don't like having me around, you know, like, you know, <laughs> mm. but I don't like, there's, there's bad habits, you know, um, I'll tell you what, if this is a fitness show, if you're out there drinking pop or eating fast food, that's gotta go. A bad habit's gotta go, right? You know, like at least alcohol makes you drunk. And, you know, I only drink on like Fridays or Saturdays. I don't drink as much as people think I do, but I definitely enjoy drinking when I do. But it's like you pick your poison, right? So no fucking, no fucking pop, no fucking fast food, no goddamn potato chips or just snacking, snacking during the day. Bad habit. Got to go eat good food. I just hit the microphone. But anyway, um, here, here we go. Like, oh, the hippie Viking asked me, how do I stay so sexy? It's not easy. <laughs> But uh, I get it done. Uh, here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's an interesting question. Best workout to lose fat? It's just working out. You know, it's, um, here, I bet the, you know, they, they <laughs> training is training. Whether you're fat or you look good is really dependent on what you're eating. You know, it's like they, they say you can't out train a bad diet. You kind of can. You can get away with a lot of shit if you're training uh, with intensity and regularly, you know, but uh, you can get away with some extra stuff, you know? So it's like Stacy, Stacy isn't like, dude, I am fucking strict. Okay. I don't expect people to live like me. I don't. I'm uh, yeah. And, and it, what's funny is like people, f I'm, I'm free in the sense that I control what I, nobody's telling me what to eat. Like I eat what I eat when I want to eat it. You know, I'm free in that sense. But once I figure something out, I do that and I stick to it. And I do not veer. Like tonight, um, we we're uh, talking about going out to dinner. I was like, you know, there's a pizza place in town that Stacy wants to go to, or she's wanted to try for a while. And I was like, and um, it's you know, I'm in training right now. I'm not. I'm not going to eat pizza. But I was like, hey, do you, like, wh why don't we go to that place you want to go to? It's called Good Pie here in town. I was like, why don't we go to that place that you've been wanting to go to, and, and you can finally get that pizza because like she really just wanted to try it. And she's like, and she wrote back and she's like, are you going to eat pizza? I was like, no, but I'll gladly take you to the place where you want to eat the pizza. Cause like, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't veer off. So it's, but, um, so what do you do when, when you do that? Would you eat something different there? No, no, I'll just like, I'll be, I'll be, yeah. So, um, I'll, I'll, if we go to dinner, so, but if we go to dinner about six, six 30, I'll have eaten at four o'clock and I won't eat till nine 30 anyways. You know, but for me, when I go out with people, if we're at a place where I don't want to eat, I just don't eat. I would rather like for me. So the, you know, when I was, when I was trying to be 50 pounds heavier, I, I followed the rule. Anything is better than nothing. But for the, my, my whole life outside of that year of powerlifting, that is not my rule. Like I would rather, I would rather be hungry than put shit in my body because if, if I'm hungry, I can, I, eventually I'm going to eat and I can, and I can eat good food and I'll feel good, you know, but if I eat fucking shit, 
I'm going to feel bad for longer. Okay. And not, not like, Oh fuck. I'm so sad that I ate pizza. Like it don't, it doesn't feel good when you eat fucking food that slows you down and stuff like that. And for me, I've been eating healthy for so long. Like I can just feel, yeah, you can just feel it, you know? So no, it's not worth it for me to, you know, and I'm, and, and Stacy knows, and I'm not, I will, I will never put something in my body to make somebody else happy. You know, and I'm not the dude that shows up to a, a fucking, so like this weekend I'm going to St. Louis and we're going to be drinking and it's, so it's just like that, then it's like, yeah, I'll have like, well, a burger for me isn't even bad food. You know, like I consider that good food, but I'll eat like a bacon cheeseburger. Uh, I don't eat fries or anything like that, but like, I'm not the guy that goes out to a fucking party with his broccoli and chicken and rice. I'm not that guy, you know, but I'll just sit there and drink alcohol and not eat. Until I can find some good food. That's that's how I am. So getting back to the, the question, the best workout to lose fat, it's a common question. It's a common misunderstanding. And and people want to target when they're asking. So when, when people ask you questions in fitness, it's like, it's like, okay, what are you really asking? And like, cause they got, they got, and I, I guarantee you, like they got fat on their belly and they're like, how do I lose this belly fat? Like that's the last to go. You know, that's the last to go. Um, uh, the best, the best way to lose fat is just keep working out. Um, you know, train, train with intensity. Like here's, here's a good thing. Intensity trumps volume. People, people are like, Derek, I, I work out fucking for 60 minutes, five days a week, and I'm still not losing weight. What am I doing wrong? It's like, well, you know, just because like the time you spend in the gym doesn't tell me anything. It literally tells me nothing. Okay. Like how fucking hard are you training? And I'm not talking about like but I'm, I'm talking about mindset here, like intensity. Are you attacking your, your fucking workouts? Or are you just showing up doing fucking what these white girls on Instagram are doing? Yes, they piss me off. You know, I'm like, God damn it. You know, there's all these like fucking skinny ass white girls that are like swipe for this fucking upper body workout. And they got five pound dumbbells and they're doing like this. It's like, hey, fuck. You know, okay, you want to be skinny and weak? Go fucking follow this girl's workout program. Okay, like if you just want to like, if you want to suck, go do that. Like, you know? <laughs> but if you want to fucking, if you want to be good, uh, you're going to have to train harder than that. Um, and you can just leave those fucking bands at home. God, I, you know, dude, like, you know what? When we get Stacy on the show, it's going to be funny. She's just, she fucking, she hates it. Stacy's, Stacy's, you know, she, Stacy is the, you know, since before, before she got pregnant, she was working out regularly. She'd wake up at like 4.30 in the morning and do CrossFit in the garage. And uh, like, dude, she attacks. That's one of the things I really liked about her from the beginning is she attacks her workouts. You know, it's not just like a clock in, clock out type thing. Like she attacks the workout, you know, and she trains with intensity. So, um, you know, so like best workout to lose fat, train with intensity, eat relatively good, drink water, go to fucking sleep at night and do that for a long time. And you're going to lose fat. Okay. Like that's it. Oh, oh, here's a, here's a good question for this show, especially, um, it's, it's from the inked Joker. Uh, let's see when you are trying to cut down body fat, what do you drink to get drunk? I'm a beer. Like, so what I drink to get drunk is, uh, I'm a beer drinker. I drink white claws. I drink red wine. And uh, I, I drink what I drink because that's what I drink. I used to drink like I used to drink a shit ton of whiskey. All right. Like I fucking loved whiskey, but I just like whiskey makes me fucking suicidal. There's a fucking there's a door. There's there's a room in my mind and like a point three oh BAC has the key. You know, <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. I keep that motherfucker locked as best I can. And so like, I don't, I don't like what I drink. I was like, I can drink beer all day and night pretty much and, and get good and drunk. But, um, if like, if, if, when I'm drinking, if I, if I, if, if I hit that tipping point, it's like, Oh fuck, there's a good chance that I'm just going to sit here and like get suicidal. It's less than it used to be. Like I've come a long way, you know? But so it, my, my thing on this is like, I don't drink often. Um, I mean, maybe, well, like once a week, you know, which might be often for some people who fucking never drink, 
Like fucking dude, I just Owen, you Owen doesn't drink, you I guys. Drink. I get migraines. Yeah, drinking, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. Pain. Sure, yeah. You should look into like opiates or cocaine or something. <laughs> like, you need a vice. You need a vice that's not McDonald's. I would rather you fucking show up to my house with an eight ball than fucking walk in here with your Big Mac. Okay, like you know, like. <laughs> like <laughs> You, you need, yeah, you need a different vice. <laughs> but um, when I when I when I'm drinking, I don't care about my fitness, you know. So here's here's the thing: like, if you're fucking trying to be fit, alcohol does not help you. Okay, it doesn't, you know. And I'm not I'm not the guy in everything I do. I'm I'm overkill. I don't fucking have one or two beers. Okay, I fucking plan to be drunk. I plan to be very very drunk. Okay, I'm not a I'm not a one or two beer guy. And so like there's people out there in the CrossFit world, they're like, oh, I just got done with my workout and I come have my fucking IPA, my nightly one beer. That's pathetic to me. I fucking hate that. That is weak ass bitch behavior, in my opinion. Like it's fucking weak behavior. You know, like who the fuck has one beer? Why? Why? So if if when it comes when it comes to drinking, I don't care about my fitness. And I don't do it on I don't do it on nights where I have to train the next day. Um, I'll definitely call out a training, especially now that I'm in my 30s, you know. So it depends on your priorities, you know. People people ask me often, how much should I drink when I'm trying to be fit and stuff? And I'll just say this. Like if, if your drinking is, is, is like – like drinking first off doesn't help you accomplish your goals. It does – alcohol does not help you uh, accomplish your fitness goals, okay. You can kind of find a neutral zone. But if it is taking away from your goals, if it's making, if, if, if it's like, you know, if it's having a negative effect on you accomplishing what you want to accomplish with your health and fitness, you got to fucking stop drinking so much. You, you really do. Like, I'm not even, I don't, you know, for a long time, I didn't, I didn't want to tell people to drink less because like I was in the army, like it is what it is. But like the truth is. You want to be fucking healthy and fit, like really fucking healthy and fit. You like, and, and, and also like. Maybe just try it for fucking three months. Fucking quit booze. Like maybe just try it. See how you feel. Quit drinking fucking alcohol and just put an expiration date on it. Like don't drink alcohol. Work out every day. Drink water. Sleep. And see how you feel and stuff like that. And then, you know, like bring it back in. Bring the booze back in. Because like sometimes, sometimes I'll be fucking stressed out as shit and crabby. And I'm like, God, what is wrong with me? Like, ugh, I've been sober for like eight days. You know, like if you like, there is such a thing to me as being too sober for too long. Cause sometimes you just need to forget reality and you've been living in reality for how many years now? Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You had a couple beers in Idaho. I did. And I suffered the next day. Um, here's a, okay. Here's a, here's a question. Um, any tips for us with a slow metabolism? Have thyroid issue and losing body fat is ugh. Okay, check it out. If you actually have a fucking medical thyroid issue, there's medications for that, you know? But 99% of people use this slow metabolism thing as an excuse. They're like, I can't burn body, f I, can't, I'm, I can't lose weight because I have a slow metabolism. It's like, bro, oh, really? You have a slow metabolism because you don't fucking exercise. Because your body literally doesn't know what it's like to burn fucking calories. It doesn't know what it's like to use food for energy to help you move your fucking body. You know how you fucking help your slow metabolism? Ramp that bitch up, you know? <laughs> like, so it's a real, like, I get that there's fucking, you know, um, and, it's, and it's way more common with women than men to have a th some sort of thyroid issue. Um, I'm not a fucking doctor, but I know friends. I, I, have, I have friends who actually have like thyroid issues and they're on medications for that. And they're actually like really cool medications that help you with your fitness. Um, yeah. And they're fucking, and they're stellar athletes. Yeah. So it's like, I don't fucking, you know, so it's, you know, so if you have a, so if you're asking me this question because you have a thyroid issue, a medical issue, go to your doctor, get them fucking medicine, figure it out. Okay. But like I said, 99% of people, they, they fucking read something. It's like all this, like, why are you fat? You're fat. Maybe you're fat because you have a slow thyroid. Do you have a slow metabolism? They're like, I have a, oh, it all of a sudden it's not my fault. It's not the fucking cookies I ate three minutes ago or the, and the potato chips I'm about to eat in 30 minutes. 
you know, we got, we got, we live, uh, we're going to take a jet break. No, it's, it's a, like we live, we live by the, I don't mean to sidetrack here, but we live, I live by an air force base and these, 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 these fucking, the United States military has no respect for my podcast. Like what, you know, come on. Yeah. No, anyway. So a, a vast majority of people who ask about slow metabolism, things like that, um, uh, uh, it's not, it has, you need to exercise. You can pick, ramp up your metabolism. All right. It's really, it's fucking it, their body, their bodies. Okay. Um, and it, but it also, it also goes the other way. So some, some, a lot of dudes, so a lot of women are like, I have a slow metabolism. What should I do? I'm like, well, fucking exercise and eat good like the rest of us, you know, but then dudes are like, I can't gain weight because I have a fast metabolism. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. You fucking, you know, because uh, I catch these motherfuckers. They're like, Derek, I fucking, I need to gain weight, but I can't gain weight because I'm a, I'm a hard gainer. Uh, all right, first off, if you call yourself a hard gainer, fuck you. Everybody's a goddamn hard gainer. Gaining is fucking hard, you know? I don't just sit here and masturbate and put on five pounds of muscle, okay? Like, you know, like, God. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up for 198. Yeah, my good. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And dude, like, so straight up, man, I fucking, I do this. And like, I, 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 this has happened before. And I just catch these motherfuckers. And I got, I have no, there's no feelings in this. I'm here to help. And I'm going I'm to help you, you know? So dude be like, Derek. I need to gain weight. I can't gain weight. I'm a hard gainer. I have a super fast metabolism. And it's like four in the afternoon. I was like, all right, man, what'd you eat today? You know, he's like, I had a protein bar at lunch. I'm like, hey, dumbass, you're not a fucking hard gainer. You don't fucking eat. Everybody has this, I, like, people just aren't honest. You know, they're, on, they're not honest. When it comes to your fitness, sit the fuck down and be honest with yourself. What are my goals? What do, what do I need to do? What am I doing? What am I actually fucking doing? You know, because it's like, and it's, it's like, the, like the slow metabolism stuff, overweight women. I like so many, so many, another misunderstanding that I just don't get it. They're like, they're like, you're know, like, Derek, I'm fat. Can you help me? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why are you fat? They're like, I'm fat because I don't eat. And so my metabolism is slow. I'm like, wait. You're fat because you don't eat. They're like, yeah, I don't eat enough, so my metabolism isn't fat. It's like, I was like, and I thought of it. The, I thought of it a while back. I was like, all right, and this is what I tell them now. I was like, all right, I have a balloon here. It's an empty balloon. If I put nothing in it, it doesn't grow, okay? But if I blow air into that motherfucker, it grows. You do not like, like. There's always like random. Life is weird. Weird shit happens in onesies and twosies. And some people can get fat from weird ways. I don't know. But 99.9% .9 of people, like, you get, you get fat by eating. You have to put something in for, you know, and it, and it really doesn't have to be that, like, dude, a fucking, the amount of fat that you can get from just drinking pop, mm -hmm. it's wild. Because that shit's all what? Like fructose and not actual, sugar. yeah. But all there's sugar. different kinds of sugars. And that's the one, yeah. So there's, what is it? Like, pop has the kind of sugar that your body doesn't, you know, use for energy. It just straight up stores it as fat. So like maybe that can be, a, they're like, I don't eat much, but do they sit there and drink pop? It's like, so what I'm saying is like, be honest with yourself. What are you putting in your fucking body? You know, don't tell me you have a fucking slow metabolism. Don't tell me that you're fat because you don't eat. You know, what are you putting in your body? Change your fucking ways. With love, Derek. <laughs> you know, like, just don't bullshit. Like, if you're bullshitting me, you're bullshitting yourself. And as long as you're bullshitting yourself, you'll never fucking accomplish anything, you know? And I actually, dude, I find quite often when I'm unhappy, I'm not being honest with myself. When I, dude, and that, it's like, it's like, wait, why am I mad at Owen today? <laughs> why am I fucking, why am I mad at Stacy? Why am I mad at Jake? Why am I mad at my friends? What did they do? Like, I'm unhappy because there's something I'm doing that's not in line with my goals. And it, that shit just pours out and we don't fucking, we don't, we're not honest with ourselves. It's like, shit, why am I, why am I so angry? Why am I angry that so-and-so on the internet is posting what he's posting? It has nothing to do with me. Like, but I'm angry because I'm lying to myself about something. Something's bothering me, you know, and that, that's what people do. It so it's like, results. yeah. And so, and so like sit the fuck down, be honest. And if you're a piece of shit or living like shit, that happens. It's okay. It's okay. Just like look and don't beat yourself up. Like look yourself in the mirror and be like, and I do this a lot. I'm like, Derek, fix that shit, man. Like you, you need to fix this shit. Okay. Cause the world, like, cause it's like, 
because the world is good and these people around you are nice, all right? And you're being a fucking dick because you're, you're, you're not doing something that you know you need to do and you're lying to yourself about it. Don't lie to yourself. You won't accomplish anything. So um, let's see. Oh, this is, you know, so here's, 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 this is where fitness gets, you know, like this is, this is the question. I, I'm not mad at people for asking this question. It's a genuine question. They fucking, it's like, it's, it's, it's straight up. I want to lose weight. What is the best way to make it? Okay. What does that question mean? But when, you know, like, so what does that question mean? What are people actually, actually asking when they ask that question? And dude, in, in things I do, I'm a... I'm a full-time fitness professional. I'm a, I'm a competitive athlete, you know? The people I work with, the people I help are not. They are this. They're the per like, how do I get less fat? Okay, it is so fucking easy to not be fat. I'm just like, it's so fucking easy to not be fat. Be, like, not being, be, being not fat is, um, to, to me, that's, that's neutral, okay? Like, if, if, you know, so it's like, if, if it's a scale, you know, not being fat is here, okay? And then you have being fat and unhealthy and out of shape. And then you have performance, okay? So it's like, let's, let's get to neutral first. And then we'll start, you know, but we definitely at least want neutral. And I don't mean, okay, like there are fucking, I'm only, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not being a dick. When I say not being fat is super easy, it's because it's simple, but life is tough. Emotions are real. We stress eat. Like it is okay. It's 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 hard. But like what hard it to hard to implement. But what it takes to to be not fat is literally it's just like eating good food or eating relatively good food, exercising frequently, drinking water, sleeping at night for a long time. That's it. Like that's it. But and so like I empathize with people. Like I, I've never been, or I was I was a chubby kid growing up, you know. But in my adult life, I, I've never been fat outside of my year of powerlifting. But like I did, you know, in my in my early twenties, after I got shot, um, you know, like I did like binge and purge eating, try, you know, and like I was eating my feelings and eating like stress and things like that. But I was still working out, and like I get it, and like and I understand that some people, when you like if they, they gain 30 pounds in a year and then it just seems like it's like when, when there's, you know, it's when it seems like a problem that's so difficult to tackle, you just don't touch it. And so you, you stop touching it. So one year becomes two and 30 pounds becomes 45 pounds. Two years become three, 45 pounds becomes 70 pounds. Like that is fucking, we, that, that, that's, that's really it sucks because to be to to do well in this world, you have to be more than human. Because that's human. That's being human. That's human behavior. That is straight up human fucking behavior. We are not as in control of ourselves as we like to think we are. We barely like like one of the best things you can learn is that you don't know yourself as well as you think you do. Okay? And you're not as in control as yourself as you think you are. You have to be more than human. You you have to be better than human to be able to do these things, you know? So like, that's a human trap where it's like, you know, one year in, you know, you don't exercise, you gain weight, you gain 30 pounds in a year. And then instead of tackling that 30 pounds, you just feel bad and you gain more and you gain more and you gain more. Um, that's, I understand that and I empathize with that. But at any fucking point, you can just say, I don't fucking care. This is where I'm at today. Okay. And this is, this is, this is where I'm at today. And tomorrow, I'll be a little bit better. And the next day, a little bit better. I will never, I will stop. You know, people, people are like, they're like, oh, why am I stuck in this hole? I'm like, you're digging deeper. You are actively digging yourself further. Stop digging. Just fucking stop digging. You know, when, and so like there's people out there that have a hundred pounds to lose. My mom, you know, she's, she's at a time in her life. She had a hundred pounds to lose. And like, dude, that's a fucking, that's a human that seems like such a big problem that if it's, it's like thinking about outer space, try to fucking grasp the universe. Okay. How, like without, you know, just like, and I understand like the, without religion and things, just look at the planets and just be like, what? That's what it is like. I imagine to have to lose a hundred pounds, you know, where it's just like, no, can't do that. But it's like, but what does it actually take tomorrow? I got to eat good. I got to fucking exercise. I'm going to drink water. And I'm going to sleep at night, okay? And then the next day, 
I'm going to eat relatively good. I'm going to fucking exercise. I'm going to drink water. I'm going to sleep at night. All you just, you know, it's, it's easy to say like things like one day at a time and just do better tomorrow. It's easy to say those things, but like if you just start implementing that, if you just start doing that, you know, like it's like, so when I got my leg cut off in 2011, my first workout, it's like, how am I going to do cool shit? Because, like, that's my version of losing 100 pounds or whatever you have to lose. It's like, what the fuck? I couldn't even walk. I could not walk. I had to learn to walk. And now, but I, and I had these goals. It's like, how am I going to do that? One motherfucking day at a time. One workout at a time. And there were, there were stumbles and there were setbacks and there were tough times. And there was moments, like, there's, like, always moments of doubt and things like that. And like the funny thing is like no matter who you are, what you're facing, what you do, that's you're going to have tough times, you're going to have setbacks, you're going to have moments of doubt. So shut the fuck up about those because that is literally the definition of existence and just want just do what you need to do today to set yourself up to fucking do tomorrow, you know? And just it's crazy cuz like so I've been uh, you know, I I couldn't walk December 6th, 2011, I had my leg cut off. So December 7th, 2011, I couldn't walk. And now it's eight years later and just like, like yes, look, like, look what I, use me as an example. Look what I am able to do. I'm, you know, I'm doing things people like, um, like a lot of people like me can't because it's not because like someone just zapped me with this magical power. I've been doing what I need to do every day for the most part, you know, I'm at least 85% good all the time. That's all it takes. You know, you don't have to live super strict and stuff like that. 80% good for fucking eight years will get you far, you know? And it's funny because I understand, dude, like when I was, so last year I stopped powerlifting. So in March, March, uh, 2019, I stopped powerlifting. I was, I was fat. I was, I let myself get fat. I did it on purpose, but I was fat. And like me with like, I, I, a huge part of how I define myself is how I look, how I feel. And it was discouraging. Cause you know, like it's, it's, I fucking, you know, I had, I, I need to lose about 50 pounds and like day one, day two, day three, I fucking do everything right. And then day four, I look in the mirror. I'm like, why am I not fucking fit yet? Like, why is this taking so long? And the older you get, the longer it fucking takes. You just have to have faith. You just have to trust. And this is like self-talk. It's like, Derek, shut the fuck up. Don't get discouraged. You know that if you do what you need to do today, that eventually you're going to get to where you're going. Okay, and fucking worrying about it, stressing about not being there yet. None of that shit fucking helps. Just fucking, god damn it. Just you know, that's Let's go. yeah. Just just it's it's so when I when people like when I say like not being fat is so easy. That's what I mean. It it, it like the the if you make it difficult and overwhelming, it's going to be difficult and overwhelming. But if you understand how fucking simple it is, every day, just one day at a time. Today's fucking Thursday. Or, to, you know, this show comes out Saturday, you know, so what, what are we doing? We're fucking, we're eating relatively, well, it's Saturday. We're going to get drunk, okay? Sunday are good refeed days, okay? I like to drink on Saturdays, and so Sundays are all about food and water for me, you know? But so, like, Monday, I'm going to exercise. I'm going to eat relatively well. I'm going to drink water, and I'm going to go to sleep, okay? And that's all, that's literally all I need to do. That day, that's all I need to do. And time is the fucking, if you know, it's like if we're making a fucking fitness stew, okay, we add our exercise, we add our fucking good food, we add our water, we add our sleep, the one ingredient we can't, we can't add ourselves is time. We can't fucking, and that sucks. And that's what, that's where people struggle because I just like, I just want to put time in there. It's like, no, you got to fucking wait. You got to fucking wait. You got to wait for time. So, but that's it. It's really that easy. Um, and if you can, and, and so, um, I understand why it overwhelms people, but like, just find that fucking inner, like the inner voice, the inner power and, and trust yourself that if you do what you need to do every day, if you're 80, 85% good every day, um, you're going to get there. All right. So that's my fucking, <laughs> that's my rant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, a uh, couple more questions here. Uh, are white claws a good protein source? Yes or yes. Actually. <laughs> Zero grams of protein in a white claw, but 
When we're drinking, we're not looking for protein when we're, when we're fucking drinking White Claws. What are we doing when we're drinking White Claws? Like, first and foremost, we're trying to look cool. And it works, okay? Like, nothing makes you look cooler than, like, um, well, if, you, if you're drinking a White Claw, try wearing sunglasses at the same time. I think that enhances the fucking... And we're trying to get drunk. Trying to look cool and get drunk. So we're, we're not drinking... Uh, 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 we're not drinking White Claws for the protein. Um, here's, here's, I'm going to like one more question. We're about, yeah, one more question here. It's, uh, it, it'll, it'll, what's your opinion on intermittent fasting? And I'm going to tell it. So I'm just going to fucking blanket this with all fucking diets. Okay. Paleo, intermittent fasting, keto, carnivore, fucking upside down, reverse dieting. There's so many fucking, here's the thing. Here's, here's my short answer. You don't need to do intermittent fasting to be healthy and fit. You don't need to be keto to be healthy and fit. You don't need to eat paleo to be healthy and fit. You don't need to be plant-based to be healthy and fit. So what I'm getting at is you don't need to do these things if you want to be healthy and fit. If you want to do things because you fucking enjoy it, I can't say shit to you. All right, that's good. That's that's you fucking f doing what you enjoy. All right, but like the majority of people, so like intermittent people, ninety nine percent of people do intermittent fasting and keto because they're fat and they don't know what to do. Like they like they don't know. They're like, oh, I'm doing like, why are you doing keto? Well, because you know, because I read an article and it has all these benefits. It's like you don't need to do keto to to not be fat. You need to stop drinking pop, eating fast food, eating cookies, eating candy bars to not be fat. And like, look, like, look, like, I'm gonna defend myself. Like, if you're if you're overweight, out of shape, unhealthy, I still like you. I don't care. Like, that is not. We're talking when I talk about these things. I'm I'm talking to people who want to make changes. If you don't want to make changes, if you fucking like who you are, I got nothing to say to you. And I don't judge you negatively, okay? But I'm here to help people who want to try with health and fitness. So um the th like so who's 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 doing keto? Fat people. Because fat people that want to lose weight. But you don't have to do keto to be I don't do keto. I don't do keto. I got like eight abs. Okay? Like that's enough. You know, I don't do intermittent fasting. Got like eight abs, you know? I just, I do what I say. I fucking, I eat relatively good. I, I eat pretty damn healthy, okay? I really do. Um, I, I exercise frequently. I exercise more than, than I expect you to, for sure. But I do this as kind of like my vocation, you know? Um, I drink water all day, every day, and I sleep at night. And I, and I, I learned to, like, sleep is so important. Um, um, you know, I used to stay up at night thinking about all my problems and how to handle them and stuff like that. And, and that's what we do at night, you know? And I think, uh, it's easy to let your brain spiral at night. Let me, let me tell you guys, really, the best thing you can do at night is shut the fuck up and go to bed. Let you know, like shut the fuck up and go to bed. <laughs> you know, sleep is so good for you. Sleep is so fucking good for you. So, um, my, my opinion on intermittent fasting is, is my opinion on any and all diets. I, they are unnecessary. Um, and there's, there's some diets that work for medical issues. People are like keto, keto fucking works for fucking people with this fucking disease. I'm like, all right, there's like fucking less than 1% of the fucking population that has that goddamn disease. So that is not like a strong base of an argument. Okay. Like does, does low carb, it's like, does, does low carb, no carb work? Yes. Is it any fucking kind of way to live a good life? Not in my opinion. Like what, you know, like, you're like pasta makes people happy. Pasta is a good, pasta is good. You can eat pasta and be like super fucking fit. You can eat, you can, you can eat pasta and be better than me. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm pretty good, but like you can eat, you can, you can eat at nine in the morning and be fucking healthy and fit. You can eat pasta at 10 o'clock PM and be healthy and fit. So you don't need to do these things. Like, so if you're the person, if you're like, again, when I, like what I said earlier, if you're doing something you don't enjoy, you are going to fail. You are 100% going to fail. So if you're a person, you're like, I fucking love pizza, but I can't have pizza because I'm keto. You're going to fail. You're going to fail, you know, because you can eat pizza and be fit. And so I don't. 
like when when it comes to when it comes to diets, if you're a fucking elite competitive athlete, yes, you need to be splitting hairs and paying attention to shit. But most of you, most of you that are that you know, like most of you aren't fucking. You don't do fitness. Fitness isn't your life. I said this last week. Like fitness is my life, and I don't expect it to be your life, but I, like it should be a part of your life. And so you don't have to worry about intermittent fasting and food timings and things like that. Take away from today. So easy, so beautiful. Let's get shit done. Eat relatively well, okay? Exercise frequently. Intensity trumps volume. Drink water. Go to fucking sleep. Sleep is good, okay? Like that's, like, I, I, uh, I, it is really just that. And check it out, guys. We're gonna wrap up here. Um, if you're looking for uh, uh, help with training, all right? DerekWida.com. We got training programs for all kinds of people. I was just reading more. Uh, dude, I fucking love the messages that come in. We have a 12 week training program on DerekWhite.com right now, and it's like it's like hybrid fitness. There's a in every workout, there's a warm up, there's a strength session, and then there's a conditioning workout. And it's not CrossFit, but it's definitely functional fitness. And so I love you know it's it's for all kinds of people. It's for fucking fat people. Uh, who are who are scaling and modifying and they're like dude this is kicking my ass and I fucking love it but the best ones are the people who are saying like I thought I was in shape cuz I fucking I I did my cardio I walked on my stairs for 30 minutes I'm like that's not fitness dog do 100 burpees then tell me where we're at fitness wise you know and so there's a 12 week program on derekwider.com if you're it is for everybody it's for all levels of fitness because the beauty of it is is like percentage base and and things like that you know and then um like there's classic training programs there's there's a there's a booty building Booty Builder program for the ladies. It's called the Ass Blaster 1000. Um, I really like that name. I'm just out here blasting asses, you know. Anyways, that's DerekWhite.com. And check it out, guys. I want to start a new thing. Well, I want to end every show. Like, I love, I love music, okay? We love, and I want to share. People ask me quite often to help, you know, share music that I listen to in the gym. So we're going to start a thing. It's called the Savage Slapper of the week. I'm very happy with that name. I'm just going to share a song with you that's one of my go-to gym songs every week. And this week's Savage Slapper, it's it's like I'm going to try to share songs that you probably might not know. There's a band out there. They're called The Earth Laid Bear. That's B A R E, not like gay bear, but it's so The Earth Laid Bear and the song is called Divide and Conquer. It is so fucking good and so kind of underknown and underappreciated. That's the Savage Slapper of the Week, guys. Divide and Conquer by the Earth Laid Bear. I think, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I had a good time. I appreciate all the questions on Instagram. I, I totally did use these guys. I, I put up, you know, I was like, ask me a question on Instagram. I have no intention of ans- actually answering any on Instagram. We just <laughs> used them for this podcast. And they don't know that. But, uh, hey. What are you going to do? Anyways, thanks for joining me this week, guys. Uh, next week, I do believe that we're going to have my wife, Stacy on. That'll be a fucking hoot. Um, I hope you have a great week. hope you have a great life. I love you. Catch you next time. Bye.